Hey humans, it's Danny here. Uh, you may have heard from Microsoft recently about the convergence of both SCCM, that's System Center Configuration Manager, and Microsoft Intune into Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Uh, this integration has been going on for some time now uh, through a process called code management. Uh, hopefully you've been using that already, uh, but Microsoft have made this, this uh, convergence official now. Uh, what we've got up on the screen is just a blurb from Brad Anderson, the corporate vice president of M365 talking about the, the future of management and a little bit about Microsoft Endpoint Manager. I encourage you to go and have a look, uh, read through that, get an understanding of what that means for you. You may be using SCCM and want to use Intune or vice versa, uh, but some good information there. Uh, please go and have a look. That's not really what I wanted to uh, talk to you about today. That's uh, some important news that I wanted to share. What I really wanted to talk to you was about something that uh, you may not be aware of with the change of the Intune management console. Um, something called device management.microsoft.com. So generally, uh, and this is this is not uh, a replacement at the moment for Intune, which we'll go and have a look at in the Azure portal. So if I click on uh, my list here, click on Intune, this is probably what you're familiar with seeing uh, in the Azure portal to, to manage Intune. And there's, there's all the regular stuff there, your de device compliance enrollment, uh, client apps, uh, conditional access sections, users and groups and roles, all of that type of stuff as well as right down here, if we scroll down the, the troubleshooting section, which is a bit of a favorite of mine, I'll show you in a sec. Um, this is great. What Microsoft are trying to do with uh, the new console, and we'll flip over across to that now. If you go to devicemanagement.microsoft.com, this is what you'll see. Uh, the the benefits here, and, and the old console is, is good for people who are familiar with Intune. Um, if you need to do advanced stuff, you're kind of getting deeper into Intune. Uh, it's good also if you're doing a lot of Azure works because you're jumping around the, the different sections of Azure. What I like about this new device management console is it's focused specifically on Microsoft Intune and presents the data to us in a, in a much uh, easier to digest form. So I, I guess uh, what I like about this is summary information here on our, on our main page, um, plus some guided scenarios. Uh, which I think is is pretty important. So deploying Edge for mobile, obviously, this is going to have a Microsoft push about what uh, what things that they think we might be interested in at the moment. Um, trying out a cloud managed PC, but the fact that there are some guided scenarios ready for you to click on and have a look at and understand, I think that's valuable. Uh, also, this news and support section down the bottom, uh, which talks about or, or pre presents to us some information um, about what's up and coming. Um, new features, uh, UI updates for Intune end user apps, those types of things. So this is a good way of getting uh, recent information to you in the console without you necessarily have to, although you probably do, go to the, you know, the what's new uh, feature list or keep your own list of, um, of URLs so that you can stay abreast of what's what's changing in Intune. So some of the stuff that I, I like here is the, the simplicity with which Microsoft have, have reduced that big long list and uh, broken it down into these, these key areas. So our devices, get our regular device information, you know, our application information, all of the apps that we're deploying. My environment demo uh, is a little bit bare here. You know, all of our users, uh, group information is still there. Our tenant administration uh, information is still there. Uh, and I mentioned before the troubleshooting and support uh, this is uh, this is a favorite of mine, um, and the reason I, I like this, and I think, let's hope Adele Vance has a device uh, associated, all right. So the benefit here is I can see very quickly from a troubleshooting point of view, and that's the whole point of this. This is not in tune uh, backend troubleshooting and support. This is my uh, management environment, so the, the people who I'm whose devices I'm, I'm managing, the people that we're, we're managing through Intune, um, this is the support information. So I can see immediately the, the group memberships uh, that that person is a, a member of. I can see uh, client app assignments, a bunch of other things like compliance policies, Windows 10 update rings, enrollment restrictions that might be in place that might be impacting um, a specific user's experience. You know, right up here, we've got in green, the account status is active. So that's a, someone calls up and says, hey, I can't log in and we see their account is disabled. Well, that's kind of a dead giveaway, but you know, it might not be something that's immediately apparent to us. Uh, in this case, there's no devices, but I could see, you know, uh, for a user, a, a device list, um, any app protection status or any enrollment failures that might be impacting. So this is a really great way 
uh, for me to get some immediate information about a user that, uh, or about a, a person that is experiencing uh, issues with, uh, with their devices. Great way for me to get all that information uh, in one go or some really relevant information. One of the things that I kind of skipped ahead that was right at the, the very top below the home screen that we saw was the dashboard. And this is, uh, this is great if you want to put this up on a screen and have it continually running, or if, uh, if you're trying to get a, an idea of what your environment is looking like, um, you know, how is our device enrollment going? Uh, do we have a, a higher, than number, higher than usual number of device enrollment failures or compliance failures? Has something changed in the environment? That means our devices are no longer compliant. Um, plus, uh, an overview of what the environment looks like. And these these are all hyperlinks, so I can click on that and it will take me straight through to that devices list. So I think that's a, a great way of presenting the, the overview of your environment, uh, kind of to give you an idea of uh, where to focus or where to start your day uh, with Intune, uh, amongst all the other things that you have to do, of course. Anyway, that was a quick overview. I hope you found it valuable. I like this new view. view. I think it's going to be great for frontline workers, uh, level one, two support people, as well as administrators who spend most of their days or their focus is on Intune. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Leave me some feedback and I'll talk to you again soon.